All right, hello world. My name is Ross, and this is my implementation of CS50W's mail P set. Written primarily in JavaScript, this app makes API calls to send and receive emails. Before we do anything, let's quickly orientate ourselves. So upon registering or logging into the app, we are initially taken to our inbox. Using the navbar buttons at the top of the page, we can also view our sent emails and our archived emails, the latter of which is currently empty. Now you'll also notice that even though I'm navigating between different options, the site's URL remains the same. Why is that? Well, unlike previous projects, most of this app exists as a single web page with content appearing and disappearing as we navigate around, sending, receiving, viewing and archiving emails. Returning back to our inbox, you'll see that we currently have two emails. Each lists a sender, the time the email was sent, a subject line and two options, the option to view our email and the option to archive it. By clicking on the view button, we can see the email in full. So again, here is the sender, the recipient, that is myself, the subject line, etc, etc. And on the right hand side is the main body of the email. Returning back to our inbox, let's try the remaining option button. By clicking the archive button here, our email is somewhat unsurprisingly archived disappearing from our inbox and appearing again in our archive folder, where we also have the option to unarchive the email again. So now we've viewed some emails, let's try sending some. First a new email and then replying to one. To compose a new email, we simply click the compose button and in front of us magically appears a web form. Let's try inputting some dummy data. So let's write an email to our very good friend test at gmail.com. For subject line, let's simply write CS50W, and for the email itself, let's write an on-brand question. So, how are you enjoying the course thus far? So now the email has been written, we simply click on the submit button at the very bottom of the form, and off it shoots to our totally real, not made up at all recipient test at gmail.com. And by clicking on the send button at the top of the page here, you'll see that we've now sent two emails to test, one which was sent about a week ago on the 7th, and one that we sent just moments ago with the subject line CS50W. Now of course, I could be a terrible programmer and I could be lying to all of you. So let's log out as Ross and let's quickly log back into the application as test to make sure that email was genuinely sent. So logging out and logging back in as test. And there we have it on screen right in the inbox as expected, the email we sent just moments ago. But, as I said, we can also reply to emails. To do so, we simply select the email we want to reply to, we click on the reply button and we type in our response. So Ross has asked if we've tried CS50W, uh, we have indeed and it's really wonderful. You'll also notice that when I reply to an email rather than composing a new one, the compose form is already half pre-filled for us, so we've got the correct recipient, the subject line and a quick recap of the email we're responding to. So, a fairly simple looking web app, but there's actually quite a lot going on under the hood, so let's take a quick look at the code running our site. Here we have a fairly typical Django file structure in the Atom editor. Here is our Python code stored in the file views.py and a few HTML files, a layout file for common elements and two short pages for registering and logging in. We've also got a more substantial inbox file for displaying and hiding the site's various elements as we move around. Finally is our most important file, our JavaScript file called inbox.js. Containing about 300 lines of code, this file provides the main bulk of the app's logic. It lists all of our event listeners, and it also gets all of a user's email and sends emails via the asynchronous fetch function. Is it pretty? No. Could it be made more efficient? Probably. Does it work? Yeah, mostly. But there we have it for now. My implementation of Mail is part of CS50's web programming with Python and JavaScript. As always, my source code and a write-up of my experience with the PSET is in the video's description below. Four down, two to go. My name is Ross, bye for now, and see you all next time.